Gold State Warriors welcomed a group of special guests to tonight's game. Yeah, Night Beats Andrea Borba is outside Oracle Arena with how victims of the campfire got a special surprise. After two weeks where there was anything but normalcy in the town of Paradise, students at Paradise High School got one night of NBA fun to forget their troubles. Among the sea of Warriors gear marching into Oracle Arena for tonight's matchup versus the Thunder, a gaggle of Forest Green, the girls and boys basketball teams from Paradise High School. I got told on the phone, and I just got told we were going to a Warriors game. I didn't know it was going to be all this. That was the plan of Warriors President Rick Welts, a night of watching it rain threes and not embers. Our hope is we give them three hours of time just to not worry about what's happened in their lives the last couple of weeks. and. Uh, enjoy the sport that they love so much. Most of the students on the team are now homeless. Their previous lives left in a smoking pile of ash from the campfire. You almost can't even recognize anything. Like the whole town you've grown up in, it's almost unrecognizable. And it wasn't just the high school players, but families who ran from flames, including the Adlams. That's all I got my wife, uh, Sanjay Jr., and Keenan. His family is literally all he has, but his two little boys managed to grab two of their most important items before running with mom. They grabbed their, their shirt. A Durant shirt and a Curry jersey. For brother and sister Jared and Tori McKay, yet another surprise. A Warrior season ticket holder handed over his floor seats for the game. When we first got here, we thought we were going to have just random seats. And then we walked on the court and we were here. We had no idea. Her brother says the generosity, not just of the Warriors, not of the Bay, but the country has amazed him. Paradise wasn't even on the map like two weeks ago. And then, like, after all this, everybody's coming to help, even though nobody's heard of it before. Students who've lived in uncertainty got a chance to do things that might have got them a stern talking to just two weeks ago, like taking too many cell phone pictures. Direct your attention to then the unexpected, taking the floor at an NBA game at halftime, as an entire arena did their best to shower them with love and hope. They have life, so that I look at it that we're blessed. In addition to the game, the Warriors are also running multiple fundraisers for Paradise High School to help them and their students recover after the campfire. On the Nightbeat at Oracle Arena, I'm Andrea Borba.